On Tuesday, August 7th, the Board of Selectmen hosted their meeting from Hopkinton Town Hall for the first time in over a year. I think the last time we had a Board of Selectmen's meeting in this room was in April of 2017, about 16 months ago. So uh, many thanks to everyone who's participated in making, uh, getting us back home, all the hard work and all the forbearance of the townspeople, of the town hall employees and staff. I can remember at one point uh, Mr. Kamalo's office was a chair in the corner of the fire station. <laughs> so we've come a long way. So welcome home to everybody. I think we need to take a second and thank Bob and everyone at HCAM for all the hard work that they did putting us up down there for the last year and a half. So thank you very much for all the adjustments and everything that you guys did to make us feel Absolutely. cooler than we are tonight. <laughs> welcome back anytime. <laughs> we noted. Thank you. During the meeting, the Board of Selectmen recognized a couple of Girl Scout Gold Award recipients. The Board of Selectmen will recognize the Girl Scout Gold Award member uh, recipients, Melissa Hayes and Grace Darkow of Girl Scout Troop 72233 for projects which inspired STEM interests in young girls, and Karen Bograd has been their Girl Scout Troop leader. I wish there were the same kind of ceremony for the Girl Scout Gold Awards that there are for the Eagle Scouts, but I, so I want everyone to understand tonight what a really, really special event this is and a, an enormous accomplishment um, for these young women. I've made an after school program for fourth and fifth grade girls to learn how to build, program, and design Lego robots. So they took, they took part in a, um, com a sumo competition where they had to knock other robots off a um, field and the last person stand, last robot standing won. And they worked in like teams of three or four. Yeah, other high school students will be continuing the program in future years. And all like the um, high school robotics program has all of like the materials for each year. So it can be picked up at any point. Um, so my project was to teach young girls um, in first grade about engineering. So I taught them about like the engineering design process. Um, I also taught them about and I led them through with my mentors a whole bunch of different activities where they built things and used engineering, um, such as like building like a toy or building a small house. I used a lot of like matching games and stuff and like all the activities, there was like three for like building activities so they could like move on really quickly. So thank you and good evening. My name is Danielle Baltinos. I'm the Director of Volunteer Engagement at Girl Scouts of Eastern Massachusetts, um, and I'm honored to be here tonight with all of you. The Gold Award is our most prestigious award in Girl Scouts. Starting in 1916, the best and brightest undertook sustainable projects that improve their communities in the world. The Gold Award has inspired girls to find greatness inside themselves and share their ideas and passions with their communities. Over the past 100 years, those who have earned the highest award in Girl Scouting reflect the vision of our, our movement's founder, Juliet Gordon Love. Juliet believed deeply in the importance of giving back to one's community <coughs> and sought to inspire the same in others. Nationally, only 13% of girls ages 14 to 17 earn the Gold Award. So we're very excited to be able to celebrate the work of two Hopkinson Girl Scouts who are joining those prestigious ranks as Gold Award Girl Scouts. Grace Darko and Melissa Hayes have demonstrated extraordinary leadership in making a difference in their community with measurable take action projects. Therefore, the Board of Selectmen of the Town of Hopkinton, Massachusetts join with Melissa and Grace's family and friends in recognition of their achievement in attaining, attaining the rank of Gold Award, signed under our hand and seal the 7th day of August, 2018. This is for Melissa, and this is for Grace. We also have a certificate of appreciation for Karen, if you would come up as well.
Thank you very much. You are cleaning up. And maybe we can get some photographs now. Yep.